Well, the U.S. Navy has a marine species monitoring program that focuses here in Hawaii on marine mammals, particularly our whales. Marine mammal science is complicated, and there are some complex factors in play when dealing with moving animals, moving ships, and sounds. Here to tell us about those efforts is Pacific Fleet biologist Julie Rivers. Good morning, Julie. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Thanks for being here so early. Why is the Navy so interested in marine mammals and being a good neighbor because it is their element if you will right yes exactly yeah the Navy spends every day with marine mammals in the ocean and while it's important for Navy sailors to train they we also need to do that in an environmentally conscious way so we started a monitoring program in 2006 to look at the effects of Navy training on marine mammals important project and, and, and you do fund you, you you projects that you fund what, what are some of them well, we were super excited to have the Pacific Missile Range facility on Kauai to be able to use that. So um, the ra they have an extensive range of underwater microphones that we've been using for the last 15 years to collect uh, marine mammal recordings and archive those. So not only are we able to use those to look at long-term trends in population, but we overlay those with marine mammal movements, which we use obtaining, we obtain the information with these satellite tags, and we layer those two um, together the tracks from the animals and the acoustics um, that we've recorded during training events to look at oh. the effects of whales, um, uh, the behavior of the whales with sonar and ships. So you're using this and you're putting them on the mammals themselves, and what yes. are you finding? Well, we're finding, um, first of all, we're not seeing any distressed or stranded marine mammals during the training events that we've monitored, which is really important. Um, and this research is going on in a few other areas, and our findings are consistent with those other areas. We are seeing in some cases the animals don't change their behavior at all, and in some cases they will um, move closer mm -hmm. to the sonar, and in some cases they'll change or modify their feeding behavior or their traveling behavior. So as you mentioned, it's complicated, and we're still in the early stages mm -hmm. of finding things out, but um, we do share all of our data um, with the public on our website. You're very open about that and folks can go where can they find that uh, data? They file? can go to our um, we have a Navy Marine Species Monitoring website it's www.navymarinespeciesmonitoring.us and I don't know if we have that on the there screen at all but yeah. um, but they, all of our annual reports are there and all of our data and our publications are there for them to learn more. And, and again it's all about being a good neighbor being uh, being friendly to our marine mammals but yes. at the same time we do have to train for freedom. Exactly. But at the same time, we have to understand their freedom is at risk as well. So that's where exactly. the partnership has to be at play. Right. We feel like it's, it's, they're, they're compatible together. It's yeah. really important to have the sailors learn to train so that they can do their jobs well. But we also realize that we're sharing the ocean with marine mammals. So well, it's well important said. to learn more about them. Well said. And very transparent. It's yes. all there for folks exactly. to look at. Exactly. It's all yeah. on the website, all of the annual reports, all the publications. We get appendices straight from the researchers and those are all uploaded there. Julie, very nice. Thank you very much. Go to that website if you want to check it out and see what's being told. Uh, we thank you for being here all the time as well and, and doing thank the better understanding of Hawaii's, uh, Hawaii's marine mammals. Really appreciate that. Thank you very much for having me. All right.